Hey, good day everyone, it's Mike from Finding Fish. Welcome to Cuba, welcome to Santiago de Cuba, and welcome to my travel video. Now, I don't make a lot of videos like this kind of a video. Typically, I'm staying at resorts and I'm showing you everything that resorts have to offer. Well, in this video, it's gonna be a different style of video. Now, I've been invited by the Tourism Board of Cuba based out of Toronto to come down here on a fam trip. It's a trip for us to get familiarized with the other side of Cuba. We're not talking resorts, we're talking about a travel experience. And what I mean by a travel experience, well, in this video, you're about to find out. <laughs> After a three hour tour on a bus from Hogan, we arrived here to Santiago de Cuba and we're gonna be going out for a dinner on the side of an ocean cliff here in a restaurant. Now we just finished lunch at El Moro. It's a cliffside restaurant and we had a traditional Cuban lunch. I had the chicken, the rice, plantain, and a small salad with some soup and a beautiful coffee. Listen to a band and beside it, there's an old fort. Now, like I said, I'm hanging out with 15 other people in the travel industry and we are on a tight deadline. We have to keep this thing moving because we have an agenda to keep. I believe we're going for coffee and cigar tasting and the outskirts of Santiago de Cuba. That's what I've been told, but anyway, let's keep going. Just a short bus ride from the restaurant, we've come here. Anyway, let's go in and check this out. Now I didn't understand what I was getting into when they said we were gonna come for cigar and a coffee tasting. I just thought maybe we were gonna go to a little coffee shop and sit down. But at this establishment, they actually take coffee beans, they roast them, then they show you how they pound them out properly. Then they take them over and they strain the coffee through hot water into a jug and then we get to try it. The coffee here, when I first walked in, that was the smell that I could smell. The coffee being roasted. Then we learned how to light a cigar properly. Then after all of that, we got to try the 12 year Santiago de Cuba. We learned how to pour it, we learned how to let it sit, and then we learned how to have a drink of it. And we toasted amongst all of us. And to boot, I've got this parrot in the background and he's been speaking with us. So, you know, it's a very interactive experience here. When we got off the bus and we entered into here, I actually had no idea where we were going because it's like a residential area and like a little set of doors and it opens up to this oasis. At the back here, it's a little restaurant. So if you want to come in here and try some traditional Cuban food, they've got you covered here and it's beautiful. It's an oasis in Santiago de Cuba. Right outside those gates is the town and in here you can't hear anything. Anyway, we're all done here. We're gonna keep going. Well, that was a short journey through town which we got to see some amazing buildings. I got to see an old church. Anyway, we're on the way to our hotel. Now the reason we had to pull over where we did is because there's no space in front of the hotel for the bus to park.
Now, welcome to the Tropicana. After a short bus ride from our hotel, we arrived here. So, this is a replica of the original Tropicana in Havana. So we're having dinner here tonight, and we're having dinner in this massive complex. So tonight on the menu, they had pork, chicken, they had fish, and they had beef. So I'm trying out the beef. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Dinner is done. Now, I believe, and we're gonna be going and checking out a show in the Tropicana. Well, good morning. That was an eventful night. Finished off there about 10.30, came back to our hotel, and I went to bed. I was tired, a long travel day. Got up early today. We got to see San Diego de Cuba slowly wake up in this beautiful town. And now we're set for our third day of the leg of this journey. I don't know the itinerary for today, but I know we're meeting for 7.30 to 8 o'clock up here on the roof of the Imperial for breakfast, and then we're heading out. So the plan this morning is we're gonna go to the bus, offload our luggage, and then we're gonna walk up to the city center, and then we're gonna go from there. Now, our second stop today is at this church. It's called El Cobre. Now, El Cobre means copper, and you can see in the distance the copper mines in this mountain range. Now, we're heading north, leaving Santiago de Cuba onto our next destination, a resort in the mountains. Next stop is lunch. Now it looks like we're at some sort of a little Italian restaurant here. We're in this sleepy little town of Segundo Frente. I believe it's called Second Front. And I just finished my lunch here at the Italian. They have chicken, they have fish, they have pork, they have spaghetti, water, cerveza, and mango juice and coffee. I just got the chicken, rice, plantain with some avocado, and I got a coffee, which was very good and very strong, some agua. We're finished off and now we're ready to load up and we're ready to keep going. Now, like I said, this town is very quiet. I see there's a baseball game going on. There's a horse eating right beside the park. It's just a rural little town nestled in the valley amongst all these mountains. Now, after just a small little ride, we've arrived here to our third accommodation destination. If you're looking for ecotourism, you're looking to get away from it all. You're looking to go in the mountains. You're looking to see farmers. You're looking to get away from the everyday. Well, this place might be for you. Boutique size, 52 rooms, nestled in amongst the mountains here, at in between Santiago de Cuba and Hogin. Not only does this resort have traditional style rooms, also, it has rooms that you can upgrade, three bedroom suites with their own private pools. And along with that, they have this place. It's called the Farmer's Suite. Two bedroom house out in the countryside where you can just kick back and relax. So if you're looking for one of those unique experiences to get away from the everyday, well, this place behind me is probably calling you.
Good morning and welcome to day number four. Just waking up in my beautiful little villa here located nestled in the mountain range of the Sugudo Frende. Absolutely a fantastic little resort. It's an eco-friendly resort, so if you want to come and you want to get away from it all and you want to try something different in Cuba, well, this resort has got you covered, totally. We settled into the resort yesterday. We got a tour around the resort. We went and checked out, it's called a cowboy house, I believe it's called. Uh, you can rent that. It's a two-bedroom nestled in the countryside where you have your own kitchen, you have a dining area, you've got two bedrooms, you've got uh, chairs out on the front. Along with that, some of the people I was with, they went horseback riding, which was beautiful. The stables are fantastic. The cowboys are amazing. Really fantastic experience. The grounds here are gorgeous. There's music located at the pool. The pool is an infinity style pool. Anyway, with my room, I had a fantastic sleep in my room last night. My room is stunning very quiet because i'm isolated from everyone else there's basically two complete villas side by side you get your own little house and you have your own private pool with a private jacuzzi and the view out front of my villa is is phenomenal anyway i'm meeting everyone for breakfast we're loading up for day number four and we're gonna keep on going Now, we just arrived to the small town of Biamo, and we're going for lunch at the Hotel Royalton, and it is mucho color today. This town has got tons of charm. It's got a beautiful old church, just a beautiful terracotta roofs, found a little tuck shop, bought a couple of little items for the bus, and it's just a, the way that's painted here is fantastic. Anyway, for lunch, I got the pork, followed up with some rice. I got a, a fantastic salad cappuccino and they actually had frappuccinos here anyway we got to keep going we got to load up because this is about 300 kilometers we're trying to do today let's keep going Hey, good morning. Now this is the final day of this travel adventure I'm on and it's beginning right here at this farm. Now located between Guadalavaca and Benes is this little town called Retrete. Basically, it's a little town situated in this mountain range and behind me, there's a little farm that we've come to take a look at. Now today we're learning about nature at this farm. We're learning about what the farmer grows. He grows everything from lemongrass, bananas, pineapples. He has some plums, some sour oranges. This is his farm. It's been passed down from, I think, his granddad. So we've seen guava, mango, sugar cane. Yeah. On, the, on, on the table, table out table, there? Yeah. You're having that? Now, not only do they harvest all the fruits here to eat, 
harvest some of the materials for medicines and to help with ailment. They also skin some of the palm trees and they use that for building materials and sheathing on their houses. And to end it here, we just got to taste the fresh ground coffee that they just produced. You know, we got to eat some coconut, some avocado, learn about the nature here, learn about everything that the farmer grows here, and learn about the experiences here. If you're interested in something like this, well, eco tours might be for you. Anyway, let's keep going. And my final destination, Christopher Columbus Bay. 1492, where two cultures collide, Spanish and the native people of Cuba. Getting a little history lesson here. We've learned a lot on our excursions that we've done. I would say almost four or 500 kilometers of traveling in the southern part of Cuba. Anyway, if you're interested in not being a tourist and you wanna become a traveler, the biggest thing I could say to you is go with the flow. Cuba is a very complicated, but a simplistic country. If you could say that in the same sentence, the people here of this island are amazing. I've seen so many landscapes during our three to 400 kilometers of driving. Met a lot of people in our group from different walks of life. We all have the same commonality is we just have a love of travel and a love of finding out what's around the next corner. If you really wanna come here, the beauty is gonna be in the struggles that you see. These people can endure, they can get things done, they can figure things out and they can keep going. And uh, that is the beauty here. It's simplicity and serenity. Peace, beauty, culture, landscape. Cuba has it all and it's been a great experience. I just wanna thank everyone at the Eco Tours. I wanna thank Nieves and I really wanna thank Lesnar Gomez for inviting me on this fantastic adventure and excursion. Like I always say, if you like my channel, do me a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, and guess what? I'll see you in the next video.